Welcome to GTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to auto-tune a Yaskawa V1000 AC drive using the keypad. With my demo system here, I have two drives. A normal drive package would not include two drives. I will only be using one of the drives here on the bottom for this demonstration. After I verify that my wiring is done correctly, I will turn on the power of the drive. I will begin by reviewing the display. This is my data display area. It displays information such as the frequency reference and parameter number. The four LED indicators next to the display are ALM for alarm, REV for reverse, DRV for drive motor, and FOUT for frequency output. When the alarm display lights up, the drive detects an alarm or error. The reverse display will light up when the drive is rotating in reverse. The frequency output display should light up when it displays the output frequency in hertz. For now, the drive should be in drive mode and the drive display should be the only one lit up. The keypad has an escape key to return to the previous menu. A reset key that resets the drive to clear a fault situation and a right arrow which I will talk about in a little bit. The up and down arrows adjust parameters or set values once selected by the enter key. The LO slash RE button stands for local and remote. Remote allows the drive to be controlled through the control circuit terminals and local allows the drive to be controlled through the operator here. Since I want the drive to be operated from the keypad, I will push this button until the light in the upper left corner turns on, signifying it is in local operation. The last two buttons here are the run and stop button, which will run and stop the drive. I will now start entering my data and arrow down until I get to auto run, also called auto tune. This will allow me to enter the parameters for my motor. I will push enter and T1-01 should appear. This gives me the option of choosing to do a stationary or rotational tune. For demonstration purposes, I would like to do a rotational tune. If I refer to my quick start manual, I know that my T1-01 settings needs to be 3. I will hit enter on T1-01 and use the arrow keys to input 3, then press enter again. Now I will adjust the output power parameter by using the up arrow to get to T1-02, then press enter. I will refer to my motor's nameplate to find the rate of power measured in kilowatts. For this motor, I will put in 0.18, then I'll press enter. Now I'll push the arrow key up to T1-03 to set the motor rated voltage. I will hit enter and change the settings to 230 volts. If I were to do a stationary tune, then T1-03 would not show up as an option. I'm going to hit enter again and then arrow up to T1-04. I will hit enter on T1-04 to input my motor rated current in amps. I will put in 1.4 amps from my nameplate. The rest of the parameters T1-05 to T1-07 are for rotational tuning and not static tuning. I will arrow up to get the T1-05 and hit enter. This is my motor rated frequency in hertz. My motor nameplate value is 60 hertz. I'll arrow up to 60 and press enter. I will scroll up using the up arrow to T1-06 and hit enter. This will adjust the number of motor poles. Sometimes this is found on the nameplate, but with this particular motor, it is not. A general rule of thumb is that for motors at 60 Hz, I would take a look at the RPM or min minus one and know that a motor with a range of 3600 RPM would have two poles. A range of 1800 RPM is four poles and a range of 1200 RPM is six poles and a range of 900 RPM is eight poles. 
Since my motor will run at 1660 RPM, I will put in four poles. If the motor is 50 Hz, the range of 3000 RPM is about two poles. The range of 1500 RPM is four poles. The range of 1000 RPM is six poles. And the range of 750 RPM is eight poles. Remember that estimating the number of poles in a motor in this manner is only a rule of thumb and you may want to contact your motor manufacturer to verify the number of poles for your specific motor. Now I'll arrow up to T1-07 and then hit enter. This is where I can adjust my motor base speed. I can set the RPM from the data found on my motor's nameplate. My motor labels RPM as min minus one, but some motors might just have RPM. I will plug in the value of 1660 as found on the nameplate and then hit enter. Now that I have my values plugged in, I will push up on the arrow key until I get to run 13 and then hit run. Run 13 will blink while the test runs until the word end shows up on the display. Now I'll hit escape a couple of times until I get back to the original display. Now I can run my drive. If I hit enter here, I can manually control my speed. First, I'll put in 30 hertz. As my drive is running, the display here is still blinking, letting me know that the drive is in update mode. I can manually adjust the speed with the arrow keys. To get out of update mode, I will hit escape. I can check my current settings using the arrow keys. This completes the basic auto-tune demonstration on the Oskawa V1000. The Oskawa V1000 AC drive, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Galco.com.